There you're seeing Joe Biden arriving, and that's MBS, leader of Saudi Arabia, greeted with a fist bump. Joe Biden has been criticized quite a bit, understandably following that. But, the, but a Biden official was quoted as saying, we're focused on the meetings, not the greetings. See, you say that, but Biden fist bumped MBS. He, that's not something he does organically, they made that choice. They made the choice to, I don't even, like legitimize isn't even the right word. To bro around mm. with the guy who ordered the brutal assassination of Jamal Khashoggi. Let alone insert a billion crimes and terrible things. Biden said that he would make MBS and Saudi Arabia a pariah until they improved in these areas. He was gonna cut off the sale of weapons. He was going to do all these things, rhetorical and substantive. Hit them where it hurts in terms of legitimacy as well as money. And none of that has actually come true. Now they can brush off some of the criticism, but there's a bit that I think is going to sting a bit more. The surviving widow of Jamal Khashoggi put out a Photoshop tweet. Mocking up what Jamal might have said upon seeing this. And it says, hey POTUS, is this the accountability you promised for my murder? The blood of MBS's next victim is on your hands. And it just, knowing everything that we know about what happened to Khashoggi, seeing the fist bump there, the like collegial, so friendly thing there. Now, Biden was asked about this, and here is what he has to say. We just heard from Jamal Khashoggi's wife who said, after this visit, the blood of MBS's next victim is on your hands. What do you say to Mrs. Khashoggi? Well, I'm sorry she feels that way. I was straightforward back then, I was straightforward today. Except that he wasn't. He said they'd be pariahs and understandably so. But now, not so much. Maybe it's for the oil, it's for the defense partnership. I don't know, we can debate the reasons, but uh, you don't fist bump with a pariah, that's not really how that works. Yeah, well, good news, he loves Republicans. And Jesse Waters on Fox News backed him up and said, well, do you want gas at $10? Let's well, just let the guy get away with it. And then when Geraldo Rivera challenged Jesse Waters, Jesse Waters said, yeah, you're right. They also did 9-11, 15 out of the 19 hijackers. So that was bad, but he's like, I still don't want higher gas prices. So this is the one, and he, so Jesse Waters agreed with Biden. Go ahead, hug Khashoggi. I'm mean, the Khashoggi's murderer, uh, MBS. Who cares? Who cares? It's all about money. That's the mm -hmm. only thing that anybody right wing in America cares about. And yes, by right wing, I also include Joe Biden for sure, right? And so uh, I want you to understand one quick thing. They, the, why did they do the fist bump? That seems weird, right? Biden doesn't normally do fist bumps. I guarantee you that they workshopped it. And they came up with that quote that John read, read you. We're focused on the meetings, not the greetings. And I guarantee they were so proud when they came up with that. And then why the fist bump? Because Obama once got in trouble for doing a bow, a slight bow to the mm. king. So they weren't gonna do a bow, even though that might be custom in the Middle East, right? And they and a handshake, they probably felt like, oh, that looks too congenial, right? But they misplayed it because they don't know anything. They were all frozen oh. in time in the 1990s. So they thought, oh, okay, maybe if we do a fist bump, that'll be a, a compromise. No, it looks more friendly than a handshake. But that's because they're knuckleheads. He didn't accidentally impromptu do the fist bump. They planned that as if it was a good idea. That's how out of touch they are. Yeah, I mean, that's it's just so out of step, this administration with like from day one. It's like, how, how did you not harness any of the youth that got you elected into your messaging strategy? Like, it's unbelievable. They are just day in and day out refusing to see what the actual people who had energy and got this administration in power. Yeah, and that's that's just such a crazy story. Like, how can, you know, a party that has so many different Different elites and in different like messaging strategies. How is that how you schedule this type of greeting? And yeah. like, yeah, it's just such an indictment of our whole system that now again, as with our first story, the price of oil is being held above all of our heads, and it's saying like, oh, well, don't you want cheap gas? Don't you want cheap gas? Well, now we're gonna be, you know, best friends with Saudi Arabia and MBS, and also you can't have any meaningful climate change, and also, and also we can't do any of this. Yep. All because you are gonna be paying six dollars at the gas pump. So it's like they're making all of these equivalencies and like something's gonna break soon. It's we can't we can't live like this. 
Well, uh, in terms of the climate, no, long term we can't. Uh, Jesse Waters, I think, is a perfect avatar for the way basically every conservative has talked about the gas crisis throughout this year. Uh, they pretend to have an issue with the price being high, and there are some things that they will accept supposedly to drop it. Uh, additional drilling, which of course is gonna help for five, 10 years. And even then the gas would just be sold on the international market. It would have virtually no impact. Um, you know, palling around with MBS and all that, that's all totally fine. Uh, stopping them from price gouging, no. Windfall profits tax, no, you can't do any of that. Hey, uh, he says it's fine to, to do this with Saudi Arabia because who wants $10 gas? You know what will happen when gas is $10? Uh, Jesse Waters still won't support transitioning to renewable energy. Uh, so we could do that. We could have started doing that a decade, 20 years ago. Uh, they will never actually accept that. They like using the oil and, they, and honestly, the price being higher just means they make more money. So don't, don't buy the supposed indignation. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, we really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.